Bruce here, and today at Homemade Science, I want to take a look at an old toy and see if we can update it and make it a little bit more personal. Now these guys have served me well, but this was made in 1992. So I thought it was time to update these figures. Now this guy worked fine, but I thought it might be more fun to use a cartoon or an animated figure like maybe Homer Simpson. Now, instead of an animated figure, perhaps we're going to try a historical figure. For example, here's Abe Lincoln. Now, I've also made Abe on a larger scale. He makes quite a figure with his stovepipe hat and his Converse sneakers. Now the third possibility, and actually my favorite, try making one of somebody you know, or better yet, make one of yourself. All of these images were easily adjusted using a computer and a printer. I'll show you how in another video. While my gymnastics days are over, at least here I can swing around on a smaller scale. While this can be a fun toy, I've also used these as part of a science lesson. In our study of simple machines, students can measure this and other toys and calculate its mechanical advantage. <laughs> students first identify the type of lever and then identify the resistance versus the efforts. They would first describe how the effort changes from force in to force out and then closely look at the twisted string to see how a change in tension causes the arms to rotate. The force acting on my arms causes them to also be a set of levers. Now would they be considered a first class, second class, or third class lever? Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. In part two, I'll go into the building of these things from the smallest piece up to the largest one. It's simply a matter of scaling it up. Anyway, everyone, thank you for watching and come back and see me again. Okay, bye.